Hi everyone, welcome to AI Sciences and I am Sehri Shakil with you. So in this video, what we have come bring for you that uh, we are going to explore PyWin32 library. This library, this is basically a library for Windows extensions and this library is working for Windows itself. Like uh, you're not uh, going to have its amazing features for Mac or other operating system. For uh, Windows operating system, we can use this library for to explore various uh, Windows related extensions and applications. Like uh, for example, if I take Microsoft Office, so we can explore uh, different uh, uh, amazing features of it for Excel, uh, for Word, and sometimes for PowerPoint too. So uh, what we are going to do in this video that I'll explore this library for you and I'll install and import it in uh, uh, Python. I will write the script to write, import and install. And then we will work with Excel using this library. We will use this library to open a workbook we will rename it then we will read uh, first of all we'll write data in it then we will read this data and i'll show you that how you're going to show different kind of operations on it using excel and finally will uh, you choose close operation also to close a workbook of excel so this is all what we are going to explore today and uh, by that time like uh, if till now you have not subscribed our channel or uh, uh, like you are new, new to our channel so this is the link of the website which is given there and uh, this is uh, we are providing different services in data science and in artificial intelligence in machine learning you can go and check the website and you can check all the courses which are available for you and that can excel you in the in your career so without wasting the time let's go and write the code in the python to explore all these features of the library <laughs> So I have opened uh, Jupyter Notebook and uh, uh, to save time already I have uh, made some kind of marks that I will create the new Excel workbook and I'll save the Excel file. I'll write data on it and uh, I'll write uh, data to multiple cells and I'll read the data also. Uh, let me correct it. Okay. Uh, I'm starting with the, and also I have named my uh, Jupyter workbook also with this particular name and uh, by the end like you will find this uh, code also with uh, the link of the window uh, video okay let's start it I'll, I'm starting with a magical keyword of pip we all are familiar with it now that uh, I'm installing and I'm using pi win 32 and let's run it this is installing the package this particular package of uh, pi win 32 it is saying me that already I have fulfilled the requirements for you. If it is not installed, then you need to install it by using the same command. And now I'm going to import it. Import win32. Dot, uh, win32. Uh, with I'm going to import it as my client. So win32. Com. Then dot client. And as I'm importing as the instance of win32. And then I'll use my another library of import OS for the operating system. Okay, then I'm going to use, create an again an instance of uh, X1 app. I'm giving just the name as uh, because I'm going to use it for my application. So this I'm going to use for Win32 dot dispatch i'll use this method of dispatch and i'll sh give in the uh, as a parameter that i'm going to use excel application so excel dot application i'm going to use this particular application of excel right i'm just running a side by side so that beginners should not get confused at what's going there so now x1 app same uh, this uh, variable I'm going to use where I save this package x1 app dot I will make it this app as visible equal to true so see now excel workbook has been opened and it is ready to use Okay, now I'm creating uh, another uh, variable with the name of workbook WB 
and I'm saying my X1 app I'll use this instance and uh, in uh, workbooks I'm going to add I'll add one workbook in it so workbook will add and then I'll name my workbook with name so till here this my extra workbook is being created and workbook name it has given as the book 4 so check it this is being created and the name is given as book 4 so we are operating we are just doing all the operations on this workbook from our python code we opened this workbook we uh, just uh, made this one sheet and we named it as the book 4 so we are doing operations through our python code okay now what we want to do uh, already our workbook is being created and uh, name is also given we want to save this excel file and uh, for that I'm going to write the no code again I'm using the same instant of a workbook which is I created as WB and I'm using option as save as and then I need to give the complete path where I want to save for example it was in my OS dot path and then I'll join it with uh, another uh, uh, field which is going to take the working directory this get CWD this get the this method is used to get the working directory where I'm currently working so I'll use this uh, method OS dot get CWD and this is going to get the working directory path automatically and in that working directory then I need to give the name I'm giving the name as text dot xlsx fine so let let me show you again that this is already replacing yes so let me show you that this is with created with the name of text uh, and uh, this is file being created so now I'm going to give uh, some other methods for example I'm giving as the uh, full name it will show me of the workbook the full name of it is it's saved in this path like see users dull text or xls it is saved there and then I'm going to rename my sheet name also so for that I'm using this uh, uh, method of uh, this worksheet ws underscore sheet one and for that I'll refer my again the same instance WB and uh, for that worksheet and I'm referring my sheet one in that so this is going to take my sheet one object this will take my sheet one object and now I'll show the sheet name W S and, and same name I have used WS underscore sheet one and I'm going to show you its name so its name is right now sheet one let's rename it so same method I'll use WS underscore sheet one underscore name and I'm giving the new name as AI sciences so this is creating the re this is going to rename my sheet so let's run and let me show you the name again so now the sheet name is AI sciences <laughs> magic is appearing magic is happening all around okay till now now what we did we opened our workbook we opened our sheet we renamed our sheet uh, I have shown the names of the sheet without uh, doing it manually in the Excel workbook so let's going to write uh, what I'm going to do let's write some data in Excel workbook 
okay again i'll target my again uh, ws my worksheet underscore where i want to write i want to write in sheet one and uh, what i want to write where i want to write i want to write in the cells and then i need to gi give its name like for example this is my one dot a where i want to reference it so this is my cell a1 and i'm giving the value what i want it and I'm giving that value as cell A1. This is normally practice that we should give the string with double quotes and um, uh, for Python doesn't make any difference, but even then, okay. And same I will use for the cell B2, I'm copying this. And there, I'm just changing the A with B. So it has written the data there as cell A1 and cell B1. And there you can see this is already written that in cell A1, cell B1 are written in A1 and B1 automatically. Right, uh, we can write individual data also in each cell and we can write uh, together at the same time in the multiple cells also. So now I'm going to show you that option. Uh, I'm again referencing the same sheet one and uh, for that I'm defining my range and uh, range I'm defining uh, from A2 to E5 and I'm defining the value here what value it will take so So let's see here, uh, from A2 to E5, in the range, it has copied the data with which I typed AI Sciences. Okay, let me clear the contents with the same uh, feature of uh, WS underscore sheet one underscore cells dot, I'm using the function of clear contents. So this is going to clear all the contents of sheet one in this particular cell. Let's run it and let me show you that this has become true. All the contents are being uh, already cleared. Let me show you in the cell also. So see here, all the contents are being removed. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to read, write a, a kind of a small loop for reading the data. So I'm making my loop for I in uh, range of one to six. So it will print what is the in that particular range. in my sheets uh, as sheet one dot uh, cells and for that i from i1 i'm taking till the range i'm defining as uh, again i will just copy it and i'll define the, my destination range over there from which till, till which cell i want that so i need till i5 and it is going to take the value okay oh i forgot Bef just now we have clear our contents so let me write this uh, command again here and uh, let me run it and then let me run this 
so that it is showing me what values I was having it is showing me the values that I have values uh, because here I defined the range here it was starting from A2 so before it I cleared the contents so in my first row it is showing me none 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 and later on from A2 to E5 it is has it has shown me which value I saved like I saved AI sciences so it, it is showing me that uh, value of AI sciences so these are all like basic operations which I have applied on uh, Excel workbook. I have written the data, I have imported my uh, file there, I renamed my file, I saved the file and then I have used different uh, functions to write data, to read data or show in the range, you can print the data. And finally I'm just showing you to how, how you're going to close it. I'm closing my workbook with uh, by closed close function and I'm showing it like it is just closing it right now so that's it my workbook is being closed so this was our uh, today's video I hope you liked it and I'll show you the library of it also in Google so this is my browser edge I open in in Pipe in 32 it is showing me the recommendation of the library so this is the pro the description where you can explore it more how you're going to install it how what how it is working which operating system it is supporting which license it is supporting like it is working for the MS Windows and uh, this library is for the operating system it need at Windows the, these are the programming languages where it is being supported and this is all uh, like you can check the documentation and all other of stuff of this library related to all the operations so this was the today's video if you like it uh, just uh, give your feedback if you want to explore more tell tell us more what you want to listen and uh, keep uh, watching the videos keep learning with us and uh, give the feedback that what you want to explore more from us and by the way don't forget to check the uh, our channel also where uh, we have uploaded various courses related to the AI uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning and data science so by the time stay tuned with us and keep learning.